Well, welcome back, boys. It's, it's good to be back. It's been a long time since we've seen each other. Eight, nine years, something like that. Yeah. Time sure flies. Yes. <laughs> Suspense thrillers. So anything kind of like gives you that suspense thrilling atmosphere. Mm. Thrilling suspense? Suspenseful thrills? But in this season we have a new twist. In the past, our loser has to face some sort of embarrassing punishment, and that is still true. Shut up. But it gets worse. Whoever loses this week will be out forever. Okay, for one for one episode, they'll they'll be out. Unless the movie was so bad that we decided not to. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. If, like, for example, I pick Tusk again, I'd probably deserve to get kicked out forever. But that is the new thing. The stakes have been raised. So don't fuck up, boys. Ha! <laughs> because one of us won't be here next time. Jordan, tell us about your movie. Alright, I chose the movie Snowpiercer. I I was intrigued by it how how I had a new twist on like post-apocalyptic atmosphere. Um, kind of this train being the centerpiece of of the movie. It stars Captain America. Also the human torch. I thought the movie was okay. And here's why. It, it's got a cool premise. Um, I hate how it's all on a train. I think that is really stupid. The world is freezing and you solve it by putting everybody on a moving train. And, and the, the world is beneath hundreds of feet of snow, but the train tracks are fine. And I don't care if it was a novel beforehand. There, are, there is no excuses for that unnecessary scene in the movie where the train is like almost falling off the tracks and rocks and comes off the rails and stuff like that. If that's the case, then this train got derailed 17 years ago and humanity died. I hated the fact that it was on a train. That one simple fact alone immediately put me out of the movie. One thing I did like though about the movie was that the movie wasn't afraid to go places with the characters. Um, not because they're on a train, but they didn't hold back. <laughs> they, they, they didn't hold back from anything happening. Um, just because this character seemed like a main character doesn't mean that they were necessarily immune to um, death or death related symptoms. Um, or if, symptoms. or if they seemed, if they seemed like they had, you know, an important role to play or some kind of uh, ultimate deciding factor in the end of the movie, it didn't really matter. And I, I kind of liked that. I kind of liked how they were really dark and gritty, and they really seemed like they had been stuck in the caboose of a train for 17 years. But again, I I just want to get my point across, and I thought it was really stupid. They put all of the poor people in the caboose and all of the rich people going up forward through like that. I, it's one way to symbolize society. I, I get it. I, I didn't like it. I thought it was dumb. That Just that though. The movie outside of the whole train thing would have been great. But I hated the train. Just the title of the movie. Well, no. The title of the movie was Snowpiercer. Which is the name of the train. That's fantastic, but it could also be the name of a spaceship. <laughs> it could also be the name of like a bulldozer. 
It could be the name of it could be the name of like a giant flamethrower used to melt the snow. It could be the name of a building. It could be the name of anything except a train. Okay? And I, I just I couldn't I wasn't digging the train idea and I apologize, Jordan, but I didn't dig the train one day. It's alright. It it satisfied every aspect that I wanted. I wanted to see the door thing it was on yeah. the movie and I got that. <laughs> regardless of how it was. Keep in mind, I like the movie, I hated the train. Which was a lot of the movie, but anyways. <laughs> Alright, so uh, for Smell Piercer, I was surprised uh, how much I liked it kind of going through just because it kept me intrigued the entire the entire way. All different parts of the train that you were able to see. Uh, there were uh, about like two or three things that I really didn't like about the movie. The cult pretty much of what it was. <laughs> uh, the cult in the middle of the train. The comic relief at really random spots. I just kind of made it awkward for me. Uh, and then finally, the one that was the worst part was the ending, which I could not... It, it almost, almost ruined the movie for me. This entire thing was built up and built up and Spoilers! <laughs> the train explodes pretty much. Derails. <laughs> Derail. Throughout the entire movie, but more towards the end and when the train dies, uh, you lose every character. Every single character that was ever built up during the entire thing. Oh. Okay. So we say two, other than two. other than two. One which was something that they're kind of working towards, being the child, and the other being this, uh, drugged out yeah. girl. Uh, and that's what, that's the big problem that I have with it. And it kind of even got worse after the movie, knowing, finding out that there's a second one, or a second part, second. a second and third part. And that was, that kind of even made it worse, because you're like, okay, well, mystery, they, they're gonna be fine, sure, even if they die, end of the movie, whatever. But knowing that there's a second and a third one to this rubs me the wrong way extremely just because all these people were built up in the first movie and you're left going into the next one with s some random chick that that was tagging along on the train all the way up. Maybe. And, and a child who's bound to be annoying. Maybe like, there's like not, those escort missions. Yeah. Maybe they're not like the central focus of the sequel. Like it could be about like another. And, and it might. And it might not. And they'll be. play a small role. And it might not be. Up. But I'm okay, almost. Another train. You're, you're almost a hundred percent pot. Like you can almost for sure say that sometime in the rest of the series or whatever it is, they will come back and have some sort of role. Probably. At this rate, there's gonna be six humans left. And at the end of the series. And if they don't play a role, then this movie was worthless. Because what the train crashed, they don't play another role and it's over. Okay. I don't know. But I did like the movie. There were just those few spots that kind of irked me the wrong way and it just kind of threw it off track. Derail. Ah! <laughs> I get it because it's a train and it's on tracks. Alright, Snowpiercer. I think I like this movie both, more than both of these gentlemen did. Honestly, I, I freaking love this movie. Um, I only have one problem with it, I'll get to that in a minute. But the entire way, it just kept building out more and more. And I was able to look past the kind of silliness of the whole train idea, because the rest of it dragged me into the movie enough that I was able to ignore kind of the silliness and just kind of just engage myself in everything else, which is cool. Uh, not a lot of movies can do that for me. Um, so I was really pulled into this world and I found it just fascinating and horrifying. And like the cult you were talking about, that was one of my favorite parts of the movie. Uh, I was just horrified by what I saw in that part. And throughout the whole thing, it just kept building itself up more and more. And I was just like, yeah, I was, I was along for the ride. Uh, I really, I really, really enjoyed this movie a lot. That said, I have one problem. Spoilers. The end. Not the whole thing. Um, this is a common thread this week, but it was like a step before the ending. When we first, when we finally get to the end of the train and we meet the, the conductor, the guy at the front of the train for the first time, the first like two thirds of that scene were just kind of a letdown. I was just like, oh, I kind of expected 
something more, and it was just kind of the two guys talking, which is fine, but it wasn't interesting enough. I was just kind of like, oh, that's that's it. That said, the end of the, the very end, it kind of took an upward turn, and everybody dies pretty much, and the train derails. I really liked the train derailment. I liked the fact that like everybody died. Um, I liked that a lot. I don't know if that's about me, <laughs> but I felt that was a, a good ending. And it, it felt like it was warranted. I know we had, we had a big disagreement about this after the movie, but uh, I felt like the train derailment was the proper response to what had happened in the film. I'm, I'm with Josh, because why spend two and a half hours developing five really good characters and then all five of those guys die? Well, if there wasn't a sequel, I, I it, it, the fact that there's a sequel makes me agree with you a little bit. Okay. But I, if there wasn't a sequel, I think it'd be totally okay. Well, oh, and I'd be fine if it was a standalone movie. I'd be more okay with it. Because as far as a little, concerned, a little more okay. Death is the best way to wrap a blue sense. Mm -hmm. People die. There's nothing. Else, there's nothing else left. And you kind of have this little ray of hope, that, like little mysterious ray of hope, being the polar bear. Yeah. <laughs> also, the kids in this movie were not knowing, which is which yeah. Is, they, it's because they, they were just there. worshiping yeah. a train. Well, one of them was hardly there. there. Okay. No kid, none of the kids annoyed me. I really thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Thank awesome. you for picking it.